Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the new pocket chip patch antenna from Furious FPV. In this short video I'm going to quickly go over specifications and also test it using my SWR meter. And in the next few days I'm going to head outdoors and compare it with this Immersion LC Spionet patch antenna which I've used for the last two years. The pocket chip is part of three new antennas that were recently released by Furious FPV. It is available in both right hand and left hand circle lights polarization. Its gain is 10 dBi and its frequency range is between 5.3 to 6 GHz. Next we have the Petrace antenna which is also available in RHCP and LHCP versions. Its gain is 6.7 dBi and its frequency range is between 5.6 to 6 GHz. Next we have the Long Pagoda antenna. Its gain is 1.2 dBi and its frequency range is between 5.55 to 6.05 GHz. In addition, it is available in four versions, so you can choose between a straight and a 90 degrees antenna connector, and you can also choose between an LHCP and RHCP versions. These antennas are only available with an SMA antenna connector, and in addition, these are pretty budget-friendly antennas. The pocket chip and the Petrace antenna go for about $10, and the Pagoda antenna goes for $12. Now I'm going to test these antennas using my RLC SWR meter. SWR stands for standing waves ratio and the closer the value to one it means that the antenna is performing better. Just to let you know this is not your only indication if the antenna is good or not. You have to check also of course the antenna beam. In this case the beam of the pocket chip is 90 degrees and also of course it's also very important to test the antenna on the field which as I told you before I'm going to do it in the next few days. Testing the SWR is actually going to tell us which frequency is better to be used with the specific antenna, which means that if this antenna, for example, has an SWR of 1.2 and this antenna has an SWR of 2, it doesn't necessarily mean that this antenna is better than this one, but it can tell us that, for example, this antenna has a low SWR at 5.8 gigahertz and a higher one at 6 gigahertz, for example, you should use this antenna at 5.8 gigahertz. So after this short explanation, let's start the test. You can see that it starts at around 1.28 SWR when it's close to 5.645 GHz and it gets to around 1.49 when it's closer to 6 GHz. So the minimum value is around 5.8 GHz and the SWR is about 1.04. So from this test, we can deduct that if you're going to use this patch antenna, the frequency that you should use will be close to 5.771 GHz. Now let's check what happened when using this adapter. And you can see that now the SWR is higher, which means that when using this chip adapter, your antenna performance is going to be damaged. And that's why, if possible, you shouldn't use these kind of adapters and you should connect the antenna directly to your receiver. Now I've got the Petrace antenna connected, so we can start the test. And as you can see, it starts very low and get very close to 1. You can see it actually got to 1. You can see that we have a pretty flat line over here. So this antenna is very well tuned between 5.733 to around 5.82 GHz. Now I'm going to test it again when the Petrace antenna is connected using this antenna adapter. So you can see that it starts pretty low, it goes down, but look what happens now, it goes all the way up, and just like the pocket chip antenna, it performed much better when it was connected directly to the SWR meter. Now I'm going to test the long pagoda antenna, so let's start the scan, and as you can see, it starts pretty low, and the line over here gets pretty much flat. And this antenna is very well tuned between 5.762 GHz all the way up to 6 GHz. On my comparison video, I'm going to compare the pocket chip antenna and the Pagoda antenna with the Immersion LC Spirinet and also with the IB Crazy Med Mushroom antennas. So now I'm going to test the SWR of the Spirinet patch antenna from Immersion LC. I'm going to go over the results of this video and I'm also going to run some more tests. So I'm going to find a frequency that is going to be ideal for these four antennas. So the comparison will be fair. So as you can see over here, the best frequency for the Immersion of C Spirinet antenna is around 5.7 gigahertz. And now I also tested the SWR values of the Med Mushrooms antenna. And as you can see, these values are getting lower when you're getting closer to 5.64 gigahertz. 
Now one more thing before I wrap this video, I now connected the Polka chip antenna using this 45 degrees adapter and you can see it also damages the values of the SWR. So I assume that most of you are using these kind of adapters, I know I use them as well and just to let you know they do damage the SWR values so if possible try to connect the antennas that you have directly to your receivers. As I mentioned before, these antennas are also not very expensive. A set of a poker chip and a long pagoda antenna will cost you about $22, which is pretty much the same price of the Immersion RC Spearnet antenna by itself. So I'm really looking forward to see how this set is going to perform and if everything will go well, these are going to be my new daily antennas. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about any of these antennas, feel free to ask it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.